Bell Hall Elementary. Today is April 30th, 2020. Our weather today is 73 with scattered thunderstorms. We have several birthdays over the next couple of days. Happy birthday to Caden Hall, Graham Howard, Kylie Pinckney, Malaysia Smith, Isabella Godsell, Ann Collins Carter, and Jamie Gillespie. We hope y'all have a great birthday. And now for some news from our special area team. Since school shut down weeks ago, rainbows have been appearing in windows. They are placed there by kids that are home from school that are spreading positivity and hope for us all. It is called a rainbow of hope. These rainbows give us a sense of community and makes us feel like we can overcome anything together, even when apart. This started in Europe but has since traveled to the USA. So let's spread positivity and create a rainbow together. So remember the order of the rainbow. It starts with red and then moves to orange. If you remember, it's also the same pattern as the color wheel. Colors that are next to each other in the rainbow or on the color wheel are part of a color family. Red, orange, and yellow are the warm colors. The next color family is green, blue, and purple. These are the cool colors. I decided to add clouds to my rainbow of hope, but you can add anything that you would like. Instead of markers, you could also use chalk outside. When you're done, hang it in your window or on your door to spread hope and positivity to your neighbors, or in my case, for my dog Mosey, who really doesn't seem that impressed. Good morning, Bell Hall students. Here's a little information about your music lessons this week. Kindergarten and first grade, your lesson is all about how instruments are grouped into families, just like your own family. Each member of the family is related, yet has their own unique sound. We call this timbre or tone color. You will see and hear each instrument in this lesson. Be sure to log into your lesson entitled Instrument Families. Second and third graders, your lesson is about musical periods. You will concentrate on the Baroque period, 1600 to 1750. Baroque was a fancy time. Bach was in his prime, the fancy Baroque period. You will learn about this fancy period as well as three famous composers of the Baroque period, Bach, Vivaldi, and Handel. Log into your individual account and launch your lesson entitled the Baroque period. Fourth and fifth graders, you will study about musical periods as well, but concentrate on the classical period, 1750 to 1820. Classical had balance and had poise, perfection, beauty, symmetry, not noise. Notable composers of the classical period include Mozart, Beethoven, Haydn, and Clementi. Log into your account and launch your lesson entitled, The Classical Period. If you have not yet logged into your individual Quaver Music account, follow the directions sent to you by your classroom teachers or email Mrs. Powell or Mrs. Goss for instructions. We want everyone to have the opportunity to explore the wonderful world of music. Boom chicka boom! Hey boys and girls, this is Mrs. Ward again, and I am back with another book giveaway today. 
So both of the books that I picked this, um, this time are probably going to be familiar authors to you all. So hopefully we have some really great feedback and lots of people entering for to win some of the books. So um, the first book that I have for us to talk about is called Max and the Midnights. So if you look at the cover, you might kind of recognize the style of illustrations. This is by Lincoln Pierce, and that is the author of Big Nate. So this is a book about a character named Max, and Max lives during medieval times. That would be like during the times when knights lived. Um, and Max is a troubadour apprentice. That means he's learning how to be an entertainer, basically, um, and he's learning from his uncle. So partway through the story, his uncle gets kidnapped by an evil king, and Max bands together with some other kids to try to rescue him. Um, this book has lots of magic in it. It is a graphic novel, and it is really funny. So if you enjoyed Big Nate, then this would be a great book for you. Um, our other book that I wanted to talk about really quickly is called Sleepy the Goodnight Buddy. This is one of our picture book nominees. Um, I selected this because it's another familiar author. This is by Drew Daywalt. Um, he's the guy who wrote Rock, Paper, Scissors. I'm, I'm sure many of you remember me reading that to you. Um, and he also wrote The Day the Crayons Quit. So if you enjoyed this story or those stories, this would be a good one for you. So our main character here is a guy named Roderick. And Roderick has a problem like many other kids have. He will stall as long as he can whenever it comes time to go to bed. So his parents decide something needs to be done about it, and they get him a good night buddy. Good night buddy is basically a stuffy named Sleepy. Um, however, there's a lot of personification because Sleepy does talk to him. So Roderick basically gets a dose of his own medicine, and Sleepy starts stalling out um, every time Roderick tries to go to sleep. So he's like, I need a drink of water. I need to go to the bathroom and any other excuse you can think of. So this is just a funny book. If you enjoyed the other books that we've read by Drew Daywalt, um, this probably would be one that you would like to. Again, it's called Sleepy the Goodnight Buddy. So you know what to do. Just fill out the Google form. Teachers, parents, and kids can enter. And I will do porch drop off. Um, thanks to the Village Bookseller for setting us up with a great deal on some books. Make sure that you check them out on Facebook and they will deliver to your house next day. Y'all have a great day.